Hey everybody, Joy here. And I just have a little paper cup today because we're getting ready to leave. It is Wednesday, January 6, 2021. This is still the day the Lord has made, no matter what happens in it today. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. Will you all remind me of that? <laughs> oh. So, uh, we're leaving. We're going to go to town today because I need to mail the pickles quilt to Debbie. And we need to uh, go to the battery place. There's this battery place here. You guys probably have one too called Batteries Plus. And we went in there one day to look for something for Jerry. And when I was in there, I saw that they did watch batteries. And I said, oh my gosh, do you do watch batteries? And they said, yes. And if you pay us to put your watch battery in, we'll replace it free for life. So, next time I went back there, I took at least six watches, and I took them in there, and it's expensive. It was like over $100 for those six watches, but now they're all dead. The batteries are all dead. I have them in a little jewelry pouch that has the receipt. I thought, how are they going to know what battery's in here and whether I paid for it or I didn't? So, I kept the receipt. <laughs> So we're taking all my watches back to get new batteries in them. We're going to have a nice lunch someplace at a real restaurant. The restaurants are open here and they're normal. You're still supposed to wear a mask, but some do, some don't. And yes, I have my clips on. And I hope I remember to take them off before I go into the restaurant. Before I go, I will take them off as soon as I get done with this video. Now, I'm just saying good morning right now, and I wanted you to see, and I'm sure you guys can see, and you're going, show us, show us, show us. <laughs> so, yes, I decided, okay, I'm going to play like I have a long neck and big hair, and I'm going to wear these today. <laughs> so, you want to see a close-up? Hold on. There. I added six Swarovski, one, two, three, four, five. I added five black Swarovski crystals. And I still don't like the way the black sewing went on there. It's not totally, completely round where it should be. But nobody's going to notice from the back of a running horse or the top of a mountain. So I think that set's really pretty. And fortunately, I have a lot of garments that have that color in them. <laughs> so, you know my good, good friend Viv <laughs> from Viv Mom Sews. You know how she always tells me when there's a pattern sale. <laughs> so evidently Hobby Lobby's got McCall's on sale and um, Joann's is supposed to accept other companies' coupons. So if you go to Joann's, you should be able to get McCall's $1.99 there as well. So, let me take these clips off because I will so end up. Of course, I won't wear them for long because <laughs> when I get in the car and I'm back up to the seat, I would feel them poking in my back. So, I want to sew. I want to sew, but I need to make those quilts for the babies. Oh, I've got four new patterns. You want to see them? Do you want to see them? I'd like to see them too. <laughs> ah, hold on. <laughs> I've had good results most of the time with the style art pattern. So, over Christmas or... New Year's or whatever happened last. <laughs> they had a 30% off sale. And I order my patterns from Amazon because you know Style Arc is in Australia. And that's kind of far away from here. <laughs> so the postage is like 10 times what the pattern costs. <laughs> so I like to get mine from Amazon. So they had them 30% off. So I'll show you the ones that I got. This one is called the Vera Woven Blouse. I'm going to take it out of the plastic. So you can see it without it glaring. Hopefully it won't be glaring. And all of my style art patterns are down here in a file cabinet. I, because of their size, they can't fit with my other system. Okay, so this is one of them. I got four. So this is one. It's called Vera Woven Blouse. And I think it's just super cute. So, that's one of them. And I have to take a picture of it, so I'm going to leave it out. Here's another one. This one's called Posy. Like, ring around the po... That's not right. Ring around... 
Ashes, ashes, you all fall down. Cozy, cozy. <laughs> Ooh, don't you miss your memory. Okay, so this one's called the Posy. The Posy Knit Top. And I like these ruffles because I have very narrow shoulders. So I'm thinking this will emphasize my shoulders and make me not look so much like a top that you could like stand up on the ground and spin around real fast and go round, 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 round. <laughs> okay. Only I'd be upside down. <laughs> they have to put me on my head because <laughs> you have to twirl on the point. Oh my, isn't that a picture? Okay. <laughs> This one's called the Bessie. I don't know where they come up with all these names. I mean, is somebody named Posey? Good Lord, usually they're names of people. So this one is the Bessie Woven Tunic. Bessie Woven Tunic. You know, here I am again, getting things with ties. Last time I went shopping, I got all kinds of things with ties. So this is the Bessie. The B-E-S-S-I-E. -S -S now the only thing is, if you order them from Amazon, you don't get to have the free pattern. Because if you order your patterns directly from Stylewalk, there's a free pattern every month. And usually there's two to choose from. I called them one time and I said, I don't like those free patterns. Can I have a different one? And they said, no. They said, you could have a different one only if it was a free pattern on another month. So, I didn't order anything. Now this is goofy looking, but if you go to Stylewalk, Dot com and you look up Perry Woven Top. The lady has it tied here on the side in a tie and I loved it that way. So you can see these two long things hanging down on the side but you can tie them up and it's super cute. And I'm definitely going to make smaller sizes than I've been making because you know of the Everything's so gigantic. <laughs> and somebody said, how do you get the fullness in the bottom? You move the bus dart down to the bottom. Hey, just Google, how do you move a bus dart? There's so, so many tutorials. They're just endless out there, which is wonderful, wonderful these days, isn't it? I have been watching lots of tutorials on Scan and Cut and the Cricut. And yesterday, I got my new $100 book out. And I took the little flash drive out and I stuck it in my computer and I got the um, the Brother Workspace came up and um, a whole bunch of stuff um, with tutorials. It wasn't the Brother Workspace. I did get the Brother Workspace, but the little thing was like, buy the book for $100 and you get this free. Well, it was um, more tutorials and it was a glossary. Um, of what I don't know. Um, it was like 45 pages long, the glossary. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I don't know what it's a glossary of. I don't know. All the planets and the sun, the moon, and the stars. But anyway, I sat downstairs in my joy room and I went through that yesterday and I got on my pewter. My pewter. I got on my pewter. <laughs> I got on my pewter. I did it again! <laughs> Oh my lord, in a few years, you guys aren't even going to know what the heck I'm saying on my videos. <laughs> Be kind, okay? I'm an old lady. Alright, so, I got on my computer and I put the hoozy in the watchet. And so, then I looked at that and studied that. And then I went on YouTube and I watched. My thing was yesterday is, what's with the vinyl? Are there a hundred kinds of vinyl? Is there one kind of vinyl? Is there a certain kind of vinyl for Cricut? Is there another kind of vinyl for Scan and Cut? What the heck do you do with it? How do you put it on? Can you put it on a cup? Can you put it on a, on a piece of fabric? Can you put it on wood? Can you put it on a shingle? Can you put it on a window? What's with all the vinyl? So, I was doing vinyl duty yesterday. So now that I know a little bit about the vinyl, I'm gonna go to Walmart also today and see if I can find some of what's called HTV. And it is heat transfer vinyl. There's another kind of vinyl that is not heat transfer, or it doesn't come with the heat transfer. Now let me see, what's the difference in it? I don't remember. <laughs> Shocking. Oh my 
my god, Henry Joy doesn't remember something. Um, there's another kind, and I'm not sure what the difference is, but you have to have this sticky tape paper. It's like contact paper, and you stick it on the top of whatever you cut out. Like I cut out the letters J-O-Y, and then you stick this tape, y'all can tell me, this sticky tape on top, and then the letters stick to it, and then you move the letters over, and you put them down, and I think they rub off. I think you use a rubber and just rub them off. So they must still be sticky. I don't know. I'm still confused about the vinyls. <laughs> Jeffrey, call me. <laughs> call 911. Okay, so that's my trip for today. Groceries. Look at the sale McCall's patterns and pray I don't come home with any more of them. Go to the watch place and get my batteries. Go to Walmart where we get our groceries and look for that heat transfer stuff. And if I happen, if I just happen <laughs> to find a piece of fabric that I don't already own, <laughs> I might buy that too. <laughs> I'll be back when I get through shopping. I'll show you what I come home with. Okay, this is an insert. Have you noticed how my earrings all match my quilt over there on the wall? I decided to put the turquoise on these. I think they are just super, super pretty. I really, really like them. So, I don't know if I'm going to give these to Terry. I don't know. She may say, this is absurd. What am I supposed to do with all these earrings? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you may be getting these. When I make them for me, I need to cut them right here right there I need to cut that bottom off I can do it in my software and then just do that upper heart for my head and that's what I'm gonna do so we shall see one of my friends will be receiving these I think they are so so luscious I don't want to sell the earrings because then you've got to pay sales tax and you have to keep track of it and you have to report it and we owned a business for 35 years. I've been there, done that. I don't want to do it anymore. I'd much rather give them away. <laughs> and these are on those kind of hooks that um, hook in the back so you can't lose them. So I really think they're too big for me. I'll redo it and I will make, I bet I'll make mine for Valentine's Day. Jerry and I are married 42 years, um, I think. 41 or 42, it's a long time. <laughs> we were married February 1, 1975. February 1. And um, so our anniversary is coming up. So what do, why did I say that? <laughs> oh, because right after we got married, it was Valentine's Day. And Jerry was so sweet, you know, he was more in love with me then. You know, it was all brand new. And... Um, he bought me a really nice, I think he bought me a dozen roses. And then we went to see, of all people, you won't believe it, show you how ancient I am. We went to see this, at this theater in Oklahoma City, I, I don't think it's even there anymore. But they served you dinner and then they had a show on a stage and Ginger Rogers was there. As Jerry knows, I love singing and dancing. Fred Astaire was already dead, I imagine. <laughs> I hope he doesn't come to Oklahoma. <laughs> but anyway, my point being, oh my gosh, it's never going to get to her point. <laughs> it's possible I won't. <laughs> but my point is, I want to make some for Valentine's Day that are red in just the upper heart. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Okay, I really do have to go now because Jerry's warming up the car. And, you know, did I tell you all about my wreck? I don't think I told you all about the wreck in the parking lot yet. Oh my gosh, I had pictures of it and everything. Yeah, I think I did. The lady, it was real, real windy, and I was sitting in the car, and Jerry was in the store, and the lady had this great big um, Yukon parked really close to me, and when the passenger opened up the door, her door just slammed into my car. I mean, it knocked me, practically knocked me out of my chair. And I got out of my car, they were walking into the store, and I'm going, lady, lady, hello, lady. Well, she couldn't hear me. And so later, 
When Jerry came back out, I showed it to him. And so he waited for the lady to come out of the store. And she was the meanest woman. Have I told you this? She said, well, it's not my fault. It's the wind's fault. And Jerry said, well, we need to get your insurance. And she said, you don't need to get anything. Your car isn't even new. Yeah. So that's another thing we're doing is looking into getting my car door fixed that that lady banged into. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm back. It is 5.30. It's still Wednesday, January 6, 2020. <laughs> yeah, and I'm having a real hard time keeping my happy going today with everything that's going on in our country right now. I'm telling you, don't forget, my friends, what is our strength? What does the Bible say our strength is? Huh? The Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. So I'm going to thank him and praise him, and I'm going to believe that he's going to come through for us. And this is going to remain America, one nation, under God. So that's all I have to say about that. So you want to see what I bought? You want to know what I didn't buy? <laughs> I didn't buy any fabric. I didn't buy any patterns. We didn't buy any groceries. <laughs> you won't believe what we bought. I have to do another contest. Guess what Jerry bought today? <laughs> I should. <laughs> Can anybody guess what my husband bought today? <laughs> oh my goodness. If you can guess the first one. Now, we, listen, we can't have two or three people because I've only got one set of earrings to give away. <laughs> Yes, I just, uh, I just went in the bathroom and clipped a little bit off my bangs, and, and so the little tiny hairs are falling down in my eyes. Yes, I will give away a pair of earrings to the first person, the first person, person two, three, four, five, that, that won't count, the first person that tells me what my husband bought today. Okay, let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. <laughs> The lights are half turned out in here. I hope you can see me okay. So I want to show you what I found, and I just really like it. Number one, it drew my attention because it's turquoise. It matches my new dishes. So of course I had to have that. I thought, oh my gosh, I love that book. Look at the edges, Jerry. So I opened it up, and it's one of those daily devotionals. But every day, they give you a little picture to color. My favorite, favorite, favorite thing to do when I was a kid was coloring books. I just love coloring books. I mean, I was so, so serious about my coloring. I was so serious. I would spend hours and hours outlining everything and coloring it in. Just perfect. Oh, my gosh. I just knew I was going to be painting the ceiling someplace someday. But this is, let's read January 1. You want to hear January 1? It's called Difficult People. Do you know any difficult people? <laughs> I think I'll read one of these every time I make a, a video. That would be nice, wouldn't it? And this is called The Illustrated Words of Jesus for Women. Difficult people. A simple command, right? Oh, what is the command? Here's the command. <laughs> do to others as you would have them do to you. Luke 6, 31. Isn't that the golden rule too? Somebody told me that wasn't in the Bible, but it must be. Luke 6, 31. A simple command, right? It's so basic. Treat other people the way you want them to treat you. Kindness, respect, and honesty. Honesty, where has that gone? In America today. The interesting thing about Jesus's words is that they come in the middle of instructions on how to treat people you may not like. People who rub you the wrong way. People who perhaps just aren't nice people with whom niceness is difficult. Let's face it, treating your friends with kindness is not tough. Treating 
others with kindness, well, that's the Jesus way to live. Isn't that the truth? So look what I get to do. I get to color this little picture right here. <laughs> and look what I have. I have all of these sharpened colored pencils. They're in too big a cup. I'm going to pull them out of here and put them in a smaller cup. And I'm going to put them on my nightstand. So in the morning, when I get my book and I read my, my thing for the day, or maybe I'll bring it up here to read it to you, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> then I can color the picture. And what I love about it is pictures just little and only take a few minutes to color it. So when I'm at bed, in bed at night watching some of those boring things Jerry puts on the YouTube, <laughs> I can color the little pictures in this book. So first I got it for me and I put it in my cart. And when we were checking out, I said, Jerry, I want to get one of these for Terry's birthday. <laughs> so Jerry went back over to where I got it and he got another one. So Terry's getting one. I just ordered her a hundred colored pencils to go with her book for her birthday. <laughs> so I hope she likes her birthday present. Okay, my friends, I'm going to shut this down or I will not have time to get it uploaded today. It's already 530. So I'll go ahead and upload this and I'll probably be back tomorrow.